Hi, my name is Javier Baez, director of SpanishTL.com. Today we're going to work with some examples of how to use the verb ser and estar, to be, in English. So, the first example that we have here is yo, space, alto, which means I am tall. So remember, according to the definition of the verb to be in Spanish, you're going to have to say, you said, if it's a what, or a star, if it's a how or a where. So I am tall, you start thinking as if, is it what you are like? Are you a tall person? Is it how you feel? You feel tall? Or is it where you are? You're in tall land. So what is it? Yo soy alto, which means what you are like. You are a tall person. So you have to use ser, first person of ser is soy. Example number two. Ella en casa. She at home. She is at home. So is it what she is? She is the home? Is it how she is? She feels like home? Or is it where she is? Well, obviously it's where she is. Therefore, we look where. And it's a star. Ella está en casa. Why? Because it's at the location where she is. Example number three. El enfermo. He is sick. So, is it a where? He feels like is where, where he is. No. Is it what he is? Is, it, is he a sick person? Or is it how he feels? He feels sick. Well, obviously, it's how he feels. So you have to use esta. Él está enfermo. Example number four. El carro azul. The car is blue. So is it what color is it? How color is it? Or where color is it? Well, obviously, it's what color is it. Therefore, you have to use set. Okay, so every time you have a problem with the verb set and start, you will solve it by thinking, is it a what, how, and where? Remember, what is set, how, and where is a start. Thank you. Gracias.